What's up, adventurers? Welcome to another Reviews Day. Today we have a really odd review. So how many of you guys out there know what the Star Wars Mission Fleet line of figures are? They're essentially a line of Star Wars action figures targeted for toddlers. So my son is actually four, so these are targeted for four years and older. Uh, four to 48 to be exactly, because that's how old I am. So we have the uh, Mission Fleet... Razor Crest and the Mandalorian, and it's cool. My son likes to play with that. And I saw this the other day on Amazon on clearance for eight dollars. This originally was like twenty-five dollars new, and I saw eight dollars free shipping. So I went ahead and bought a couple of these: one for my son and one for my collection. And the reason I bought this for me was I really love the Bad Batch cartoon series, but I don't want to collect the Star Wars. Uh, Legends or Star Wars Black Series uh, figures because they're too much money and I don't have enough space for stuff like that. And I don't want to get into buying all that garbage anyway. I have a few Boba Fett uh, Star Wars Black figures and that's about it. But anyways, these figures here I thought would be cool to have. I really like the Mission Fleet figures. Uh, we enjoy playing with those. And I thought this would be a cool little set of figures of the Bad Batch display. And it was only $8 free shipping. So we went ahead and bought that. So... In the series here, we get Hunter, we get Echo, we get Crosshair, and we get Wrecker. So you get the full Bad Batch crew. So yeah, these are cool. The packaging for the uh, Mission Fleet's really neat as well. This is a really cool series that Hasbro produced. I don't think it does very well, and I'm kind of shocked. But the problem is, is like Hasbro has so many different Star Wars, Star Wars scales. It's really hard to do something like this, I think, and make it successful. So we'll go ahead and take these guys out of the package, and we'll look at each one of them individually. All right, guys, welcome back. So these are all the figures out of the package. So essentially, these are five-point articulated, two-and-a-half-inch tall figures. So they're very, very simple. But they also, they're, they're really well done and well sculpted, and they come with some really cool little weapons. I know that our Mandalorian figure on his Razor Crest came with a ton of small little weapons. I was really impressed by how each one of these weapons um, looked as far as detail goes. Really comparable to the Hasbro uh, vintage series of figures. So first up, we have the leader of the Bad Batch, Hunter, who, in my opinion, if you've ever watched the Bad Batch, Hunter is almost a... Uh, He's like an homage to Rambo. He has a very John Rambo look to him. And he's, you know, this is a special forces team of renegades. Uh, kind of like the A-team meets Rambo, if you will. But Hunter is a really cool character. Like I said, he's the leader of the Bad Batch. And uh, this figure here in particular comes with a really cool removable vibro blade knife. So if you zoom in on that. It goes in a really cool little sheath. sheath and it's uh, very well done. But and the most impressive thing I think about these figures is the sculpting and the paint deco uh, for these little guys. They're just, it's a neat little toy line. I definitely suggest you guys check this toy line out if you get a chance or if you have grandkids or kids that are into Star Wars. Next up, we've got Echo. Echo is a former member of, I believe, the 501st Legion who was captured by the Separatists and used against the uh, the Republic during one of the Clone Wars seasons. Yeah, I think there's a whole story arc about him. He later on would be rescued uh, by the Bad Batch, I believe, and became a member of the Bad Batch. So he's the resident cyborg, I guess, if you will, of the group. He comes with his uh, weapon here is, uh, oh, it's kind of like a, I forget how, what you would even call it. It's his, it's his robot arm, but he also is able to uh, access computers or whatever. Oh, there's all those little wacky things. But it also comes with a uh, blaster. The blasters look a lot like the clone commando blasters that you would see back in the old Star Wars lines of the early 2000s. And he has a backpack as well. Like with uh, Hunter, his backpack comes off too. They're just plug-and-play backpacks. Again, a nice deco and paint nice sculpting you can see the cool face very reminiscent of the actual character from the bad batch next we've got the villain the former member of the bad batch turned imperial super commando crosshairs um, he's in the all black death trooper inspired armor with his sniper laser of course another backpack that comes off and just a nice deco he has his green uh, visor 
Really cool figure. This guy, I'm interested to see what this guy's storyline will end up being in the Bad Batch series. But uh, really cool figure. And this guy's also quite the asshole in the series. And last, you've got the fan favorite, Wrecker. The muscle of the Bad Batch. The giant, malformed, hulkish figure. The clone mistake. He's great. He's awesome. He comes with a small... Uh, arc trooper blaster as well as a removable vibro blade or knife as well here, here it's not really a vibro blade it's just a knife but again he's got his cool paint scheme of his mask i think this was called clone battalion or clone unit 99 it was a mistake of clone troopers that didn't quite uh, go through the cloning process the right way so they used him and created a team of misfit special forces guys this is a really cool series i think something like this is just kind of a novelty to throw on my desk with my star wars figures because it was only like eight like i said eight dollars and some change shipped uh, something cool to add and the mission fleet figures are very very cool you can see on the back of the packaging there's several different sets you know you've got uh another bad batch set More right here, different figures, different versions. Now, got one guy that was missing, and I'm, I'm assuming you have to get him in this set here, is I can't remember what the, the other clone trooper's name is. He's the tech computer guy. I can't remember what his name was, but he's not in this set, so we'll have to find him maybe on Amazon and clearance as well so we can have a complete set of Bad Batch figures. Didn't really think about that before I did this. I thought this was all the guys, but apparently not. But anyways, guys, this is a pretty simple review for a really cool, obscure toy line that's not doing too well. So um, it is what it is. I can't wait to put this on my desk at work, though. It'd be a nice conversation point for people. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the toy review. Uh, like and subscribe to the page. Share these videos. Leave in a comment. I know some of you guys out there love the Star Wars cartoons. I know Logic Blaster talks about them quite a bit on his channel. Definitely check his Star, Star Wars reviews out. He does a fantastic job and has a lot of cool Star Wars figures to share. So, guys, that's about it. It's a great review for a great little toy line. Keep living the adventure and cheers.